Hello everyone, a very warm welcome. Here we are going to discuss thoroughly about the latestly added new paper into the GATE exam that is data science and artificial intelligence syllabus. So thoroughly we are going to cover all aspects of it. First, we are going to analyze the syllabus. So overall, we can divide it into equally 10 subjects. We can divide it into 10 subjects, right? The first one could be like probability. The second one could be like statistics. Thereafter, I can divide it into the third subject that is linear algebra. Fourth subject, we can divide it into calculus and optimization techniques. And we can divide the fifth subject as a programming and data structure. And the sixth subject as an algorithm, algorithms, right? The concept of algorithms. The seventh subject, we can divide it as a database management system, right? DBMS. And eighth, that can be like data warehousing or data analytics kind of thing. And one more thing, machine learning. We can put it to the ninth subject according to the syllabus. And the last but not the least, that is AI, 10th subject, right? So on an average, we can combine them as a combination of 10 subject paper. Now, if we are going to analyze with GATE CS, obviously here also 15 marks are reserved for general aptitude section. And on an average, 15 marks are reserved for engineering mathematics and you can choose this paper with the combination of cs plus data analytics that is first choice could be cs second could be data analysis or your data analysis could be the first choice and cs could be the second choice or you can attempt data analysis as a first paper itself no need to attempt get cs right so all the choices you are having all the choices you are having if you want to attempt get data scientist paper this year, which is a very, very positive aspect, which is a very, very important, or you can say that positive point for all get aspirant because it is going to provide the equal opportunity to all. However, some was expected that as according to today's domain, where AI and ML are having so much industrial knowledge and real-time application knowledge. So it must be included somewhere into the gate CS syllabus, right? But apart from adding gate CS, they have included the separate paper, which is a very, very good and very, very amazing thing that I have observed, right? Okay, now let's do the analysis. So if we are going to see under probability and statistics, the topics that have been added like counting, that is permutation and combination. Basically, this topic we already learned is a part of engineering mathematics, but if it is added as a separate subject probability, because you know, the gate computer science probability, which is in engineering mathematics, it is very, very important. And every time I eat all that three to four marks or two, one to two questions are very, very important kind of thing. Now, if they have added probability as a separate subject, it means that on an average, six to seven questions could be there from the probability part, because apart from it, when gate CS was there, if we talk about gate, CS in get CS itself, we are expecting one to two question in each year from engineering mathematics. So if they have added this as a core subject of DA, it is kind of core subject of DA. So definitely six to seven marks I means on an average, we can expand marks from the probabilities, right? So the topics are counting permutation and combination on combination uh, concept of probability axioms concept of sample space, concept of events, concept of independent events, concepts of mutually exclusive events, marginal, conditional, and joint probability, Bayes theorem, conditional expectations and variance, mean, median, mode, basically central tendency topics, and standard deviation, correlation, covariance, random variation, variables, discrete random variables, and probability mass functions. Uniform Bernoulli binomial distribution, continuous random variables, and probability distribution function. Uniform exponential, Poisson normal and standard normal, T distribution, chi squared distribution. Basically, we can put these points into statistics part. Cumulative distribution functions, conditional PDF, central limit theorem, 
कॉन्फिडेंस इंटरवल जेड टेस्ट टी टेस्ट एंड साई स्क्वेर टेस्ट रिप्रेजेंटेड लाइक दिस राइट सो द सिलेबस इज वेरी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग हो एवर इट इज ऑल्सो काइंड ऑफ यू कैन से दैट डेटा एनालिसिस एंड डेटा साइंटिस्ट थिंग दैट यू नीड टू नो so basically on an average we can expect at least 10 to 12 marks from this subject so we have divided into like probability plus statistics right on an average 7 to 8 question from this the second could be like linear algebra so obviously linear algebra is also part where if we talk about the engineering mathematics then we are having a very limited syllabus there but if we talk about as a core subject of data analysis or data scientists and ai people then we are having vector space subspaces linear dependency and independence of vectors matrices projection matrix orthogonal matrix idempotent matrix partition matrix and their properties quadratic forms systems of linear equations and solutions gaussian elimination eigen values and eigen vectors determinant rank nullity projections lu decompositions singular value decompositions so linear algebra so we can expect at least on and around approximately six questions from linear algebra and we can put on an average 8 to 10 marks here right so because this kind of things are also related to the engineering mathematics as well as these things also relates with our core subjects right there after calculus and optimization however you also know that in the engineering mathematics section of computer science calculus is a topic but not that much weightage is given because the significance of uh, probability and statistics is more rather than calculations and like that but still it is it is subject which is added in ba and ai then the uh, concepts that we are having here is functions of single variables limit continuity and differentiability taylor series maxima and minima optimization involving a single variable basically this is also similar kind of part in our get uh, cs engineering mathematics section on an average two to three questions can be expected right so on an average we can say that around four marks around four marks we can put for this subject the second one is programming data structures and algorithms so basically it is nothing but dsa that is data structures and algorithms right so which is already you can say that the overlapping part if it is the gate cs and if it is gate da then some subjects are there which is overlapping we are going to analyze it further so here rather than c here it is python this time because if we talk about programming as per the get cs there is a c programming but here programming in python not using c that is the difference right there after basic data structures stacks queues linked list trees hash tables they are same but we need to learn it using concepts of python this time there after search algorithms like linear search and binary search basic sorting algorithms like selection sort bubble sort insertion sort divide and conquer techniques merge sort quick sort introduction to graph theory graphical uh, you can say that graphical algorithms basic graph algorithms like traversal algorithms tree traversal algorithms and graph algorithms shortest path algorithms right you can expect prims algorithm kruskal's algorithms also inside it bfs dfs in order pre order post order all we have to discuss inside this so programming data structures and algorithm concepts are here but you know that in gate computer science we need to learn it using c programming but here it is python right that is the main difference obviously if uh, we are learning with uh, the perspective of uh, ai i then python is the domain under which we need to learn there after data management and warehousing that is nothing but a combination of dbms plus data warehouse database management system and data warehousing they have put the combination of it right so data warehousing you can also say data mining so dbms plus data warehouse data mining concepts they have uh, included here right so basically if we relate it with the get cs then er model is already there relational models relational algebra tuple calculus sql integrity constraints normal forms 1nf 2nf 3nf bcnf 4nf file organization indexing data types data transformation such as normalization 
right that is up to there that is up to there in our gate cs but discretization sampling compression that all are part of data analytics basically there is a concept like data analytics and data warehousing and statistics from where these topics are chosen right so discretization sampling statistical samplings are there right probability sampling non probability sampling techniques are there which we need to discuss further here thereafter data warehouse concepts modeling schema for multi dimensional data models conceptual hierarchies majors categorization and computations so it is a combination of on and around two subjects dbms and warehousing if we talk about the dbms from gate cs then weighted average is 7 marks so here we can expect at least 8 to 10 marks because we have added dbms and warehousing so if we conclude DBMS, then on an average five to six marks we can put for it and for data warehousing and data analytics kind of uh, topics, we can expect at least three to five marks from this subject, right? And thereafter, the most important, the, okay, just before it, if we have discussed DSA, on an average 21 marks in gate CS for DSA, data structures and algorithms. So here I am also going to put the same weightage here, 21 marks. Basically, I'm going to put six to seven marks for programming in Python, six to seven marks for data structures and six to seven marks for algorithmic part. But we need to relate it with Python programming this time. So this is the average marks that I have put for programming. This is just analysis I am doing right there after important that is machine learning, machine learning, very, very important. And you can say that the core subject of data analytics where supervised machine learning, regression techniques, classification problems, simple linear regressions, multiple linear regressions, ridge regression, logistic regression, K nearest neighbor, neobase classifier, linear discriminant analysis, support vector machine, decision trees, bias variance trade off, cross validation methods such as leave one out, cross validation, K folds, cross validation multi-layer perceptron, feed-forward neural network, unsupervised learning thereafter, clustering, algorithms, k-means, k-midoid, hierarchical clustering, top-down, bottom-up, single linkage, multiple linkage, dimensionality reduction, and principal component analysis for reducing for reduction of the different different features that is only useful, right? So basically, we talk about with the relation of gate CS, there is a subject like computer network operating system, which is not there. But the, on the other hand, if we talk about ML, which is a very, very key part of uh, gate data analytics, it is a kind of very, very important. And we can reserve at least 12 to 15 marks itself for this subject, machine learning. Very, very important. At least 12 to 15 marks from this topics, which we are going to discuss further ahead, right? The next one is AI, artificial intelligence. And here, search informed, uniformed, adversarial, uh, logic, propositional, predicate, reasoning, under uncertainty topics like conditional independence, representation, exact inference through variable elimination, and approximate inference through sampling. So here we can put at least six to seven marks. It is just a general analysis based on the comparison of get CS weightage and get DA weightage. So this is the syllabus that uh, have been uploaded and I have divided into 10 subjects paper according to just uh, thoroughly analysis part, right? Now, what we can do that uh, if you are going to see here, you can apply for this paper in this combination, in this combination or in this combination, right? And the syllabus is not that much uh, uh, lengthier, but we need to go into depth of the knowledge this time because it is first time paper. No previous year concepts are there and no any kind of data is there. No any kind of, you can say that, uh, any kind of uh, information yet, but we are having syllabus. So we need to go with it. However, we can utilize the syllabus for probability from the previous year. Now, if we, I am going to do the thoroughly analysis, let's say if it is a gate CS, and let's say if it is a gate, data science and artificial intelligence, then, then we can just make some overlapping kind of thing here. So some topics are common, that is data structures and algorithm, but this is using what? Using Python. 
thereafter one thing that is common is kind of dbms concepts right and one more thing that i can put like probability right these topics are there and one more that is linear algebra but not that much but these topics are there which is overlapping which is overlapping with get cs syllabus so on an average if you can see that uh, we can put it like 15 marks because data structures and algorithms 6 to 7, 6 to 7 on an average, but Python is new here. So on an average 15 here, we can take 10 marks and from here and here we can take at least 10 marks. So on an around 35 marks are there, which we can practice with the PYQ of gate CS, which why using PYQ of gate CS and gate CS concepts we can at least learn exactly about DSA topics, DBMS topics, probability and linear algebra, right? Apart from it, apart from it, for three to four marks, we can learn about calculus as well. So on an average, you can say that 35 to 38 marks, we can study as it is from, we can study as it is from 35 to 38 marks we can study as it is from gate CS. And apart from it, we can at least 15 marks from general aptitude and then 15 marks from engineering mathematics. So on an average, if you are going to see six, on an, on an average, on an average, approximately, approximately 60 marks, we can prepare accordingly gate CS, but in this, I have also put it the all complete topics of probability. So you need to be very, very much care about this theorems, which is not there. Uh, apart from it, this statistics is there, right? Apart from it, if you can see data warehousing and mining is there, machine learning and AI. But all the other topics are in depth. That was not in that much depth in, if we compare it to the gate CS, right? So this is a, one of the analysis that I am doing here. This is the syllabus that you need to know as of now, because it is approximately, if you are going to see here, approximately 60 to 70% of things are all revolves around nothing but the domain of mathematics. Under domain of mathematics, they are revolving, whether it is engineering mathematics, whether it is probability, whether it is linear algebra, whether it is statistics, whether it is data analytics, whether it is calculus, or whether it is some algorithms like machine learning algorithms, right? So on an average 60 to 70 papers are revolve around the concepts of maths. Maths means nothing for uh, pure maths, but it is kind of a statistics maths. It is a kind of probability. It is a kind of linear algebra where matrix concepts are there, right? So on an average, it is going to revolve all around probability and statistics probability and statistics, probability and statistics, right? And for, for, for this, you need to be aware with Python now, because apart from it, before what we do, we only need to aware about C programming and all subjects we do on the knowledge of C. Here, we need to relate each and every concept with Python. This is one of the analysis in our upcoming session. Definitely, I'm going to do some more analysis, but how you like this particular video, please tell me in the comment section. You can also share your thoughts and your doubts, queries you can ask. Have a very nice day. Please ask, stay tuned and subscribe.